sea levels rose all over the world. Huge areas just ripped and gouged and scoured by these enormous floods. The immense, sustained, long-term global cataclysm known to geologists as the Younger Dryas. The story of Noah's flood is one amongst thousands of pieces of testimony that have come down to us from the ancient world that speak of an enormous global flood that destroyed a previous golden age. And it's interesting that the Ark of Noah ends up on Mount Ararat, uh, which is very close to Gobekli Tepe. If you were the survivors of a civilization fleeing rising sea levels and, and not sure when they would stop rising, you would be smart to head for high ground. So I think Mount Ararat and other high places during the terrible events of the Younger Dryad were chosen as places of refuge by survivors. And this is where, you know, we come to a site like Gobekli Tepe in Turkey, an incredibly important site, probably the most important archaeological site in the world today. And it's important because the work began there 11,600 years ago. That ground-penetrating radar survey shows that there are dozens more of these circular enclosures of megaliths and hundreds of large megalithic pillars, some of them looking to be in the range of 20 tons, which is about the size of the largest pillars that have so far been excavated. Hundreds of megalithic pillars still underground awaiting further excavation. The oldest of the enclosures and the gigantic pillars within it, which dates to 11,600 years ago, whether it is in fact the oldest enclosure or whether there are even older enclosures still underground, which is perfectly possible. And not only at Gobekli Tepe, but, but at least 11 other sites have been found in a kind of ring, very recently excavated, a very spooky site, which is called Karahan Tepe. It seems to be dedicated to, to serpents. There's a semi-subterranean enclosure with, with pillars carved out of the bedrock, and one freestanding pillar, and then a human face on a kind of serpentine neck juts out of the wall of the enclosure, again cut from solid bedrock and it just creates the most strange and spooky feeling. I can't even begin to guess what the purpose of that enclosure was, but it too dates back to around 11,600, 12,000 years ago. So I think we're just scratching the surface of a huge mystery here. And it is a mystery because until the discovery of Gobekli Tepe, archaeologists were convinced that there were no older megalithic structures in the world than about 6,000 years ago. They were convinced of that, and suddenly here, more than 5,000 years old than that, 11,600 years ago, not 6,000, but 11,600 years ago, we find this enormous, highly sophisticated, very precise uh, megalithic structure. And what desperately needs to be understood by archaeologists is the gigantic extent of the cataclysm that took place at the end of the Ice Age and how radically it reshaped our world. It was not the beginning of civilization, it was the re-beginning, it was a restart. That's what happened during the Younger Dryas, and if I had my time machine, that's the time I'd choose to go back and live in.